I do. Can you tell me uh, what you're advocating here for or against? Yeah, uh, Johnny Rice for Congress, uh, candidate for Congress. And uh, you can find me at Facebook, Johnny Rice for Congress. Yeah, I'm a pro-life supporter. Pro-life, okay. Pro-life, yeah. So I'm out here, you know, I want Roe v. Wade to be overturned. Right. That's that's my my advocacy. Okay, what, what do you think uh, it should be overturned? Because it's it's not a choice for the baby. I mean, it's murder. You know, it's murder, and I don't believe our government should be funding murder with Planned Parenthood half a billion dollars a year. Yeah, didn't for, Trump sign that off? Yeah, and I mean, he, you know, I mean, he he supports pro-life, and he's going to pick a pro-life candidate, and I think he should be open about it, not hide it. Right. You know, uh, but yeah, that omnibus. I mean. I disagree. You know, I love Trump, but I'm not a, I'm not a worshiper of Trump. Well, there you go. You can be critical you know, of his party. Absolutely. Right, I, I can be very critical, you know. All right. So, and, and it's not to say uh, Roe versus uh, I mean, Wade that, was not something that the courts were involved in so to begin with, right? It was a state's issue thing, and it wasn't like it was illegal before that, right? You could have gone to New York or California before right, that. Right, right. So if it get overturned, then the, the states would make that decision, right, right. which, I mean, I would like it. I would like to see that, you know, where it would be a little pushback, a little pushback. In Texas, uh, before Roe versus Wade, it was like, you can have an abortion, it was like a life and death situation, right? Uh, but, like, you know, I thought and, the, uh, and obviously, I mean, life or death situation, then obviously you take care of the, the woman. Right. You know. And, and, but they find statistically that, that's less than 1%. It's not a rampant thing. It's a very small percent. I think right. it's like one tenth of one percent i mean it's not even one percent right right and, and people still die today on having abortions so it's not like that risk has been evaded or is gone right right, right. right. uh so that's that's a false argument for right. you know i mean yeah of course you're going to protect a woman's life right. in that situation but a lot of leftists like to say like oh my god uh this is when it was legalized you couldn't have it before but that's not true right you, you it wasn't illegal people so could he, have it even here's my card here's a card for uh in d or in dc you're running? Uh, no, Maryland. Maryland, okay. Yeah. Um, so you're pro-life in that situation. Pro-life. What do you think about uh, the areas in which government in itself, I will find it to be anti-life in terms of taxation, right? Because if you don't give Uncle Sam your money, he threatens their life, right? You go to jail if you don't give him your money, right? If you try to escape, your life is threatened again. Wouldn't naturally the, the pro-natural life consistency be also against government itself, since its very foundation is anti-life if you don't give them your money? Yeah, I mean, our government is is too overbearing, so we need to, you know, I mean, I mean, we ta we need taxes for basic things, infrastructure, roads, military, defense. But I mean, it it I I think ten percent max, like almost maybe five percent federal, five percent federal, you know, and then the other, and then sales tax. You know, just to, you know, take it. I mean, you got to fund the schools. But, I mean, the government wastes, as you know, trillions of dollars. The government doesn't need to be in I our mean, schools anyways to begin with, right? Well, I mean. And what are they too propagandizing them about mostly the schools for, for schools are leftists anyways, right? 76% of, I mean, of them I, are. I mean, I would like to see, I mean, yeah. public, public schools. But, again, uh, freedom of uh, vouchers, you know, where you could go. You know, go to a religious school or a private school, maybe. Uh, and I would like to see, I mean, Christianity and prayer as an option in our public schools. So I'm not against the abolition of schools. I mean, you know, not everybody can homeschool. That I mean, that would be a, a big burden. Well, we're nearly but, but, but let it where there's Christian prayer freedom, you know, in the schools. I mean, give that option, not to force it. Right. You know, so, uh, yeah. I mean, don't you think, though, uh, you can have a lot of money for schools and for roads and for security if nearly half your income wasn't taxed, right? You work a third out of the entire year just paying Uncle Sam money, right? Right. You know, so that's a lot of tax. It's not like, I mean, roads are built by, by businesses in Virginia. The government doesn't build roads, right? You know, really? So yeah. Really? So, so, mar know so markets can build roads, you know? Uh, you had that Bundy Ranch incident where people went out to the defense of property rights. Right. You know, this is the most well-armed populous country in the entire world, right? Like, we can defend ourselves against any would-be invaders here, right? Uh, I don't think 
like I'm from a military myself, so I would say like here as Americans, we're good at self-defense. I mean, here in DC, you're not allowed to have handguns, so you know they kind of handicap your ability for self-defense. Right, right. So don't you think maybe all these areas, even that 10% area of where you think maybe we need government, that the market could do much better in providing? I mean, I. You, you, I, I, full I, capitalist here. I mean, yeah. I see that yeah. that's a, your, you know, full capitalism, you know, yeah. to the max. Property I mean, rights, yeah. Which is great, property rights. I mean, I do think government can help. You know, there is, I mean, like roads and military. I just don't think that's that feasible. I mean, there's Virginia a, builds them. Virginia, them. I yeah. know, that's, yeah. an, that's an exception to the rule. But if it but, says that the market can do it, then it's not like beyond imagination, right? I mean, I think it'd be simpler. I mean, what do you think of the very least abolishing federal government and going back to uh, to state territory? Again, I'm not. That's not something I advocate for. Right. I mean, my issue is all the corruption. As far my my deal right now, I'm very concerned about is this Mueller investigation. I mean, this Mueller. WikiLeaks, Julian Assange, you know, let me speak on a topic I, I, yeah, I, I deal with. I mean, the total fraud. I mean, Julian Assange said, look, we got zero. We didn't get our the emails from Hillary Clinton. I mean, from a, a hacker. We got it from Seth Rich. Who killed Seth Rich? $25,000 reward. Who killed Seth Rich over at Howard University? Hillary. Hillary. Hillary <laughs> had that. That was, an, that was a hit piece. Yeah. Folks, that was a hit piece. Hillary needs to go to prison. Seth Rich is the leaker. Julian Assange, multiple interviews. He said that's where we got our. We don't give out our sources, but this guy's dead. Right. Who killed Seth Rich? Twenty-five thousand. It was their own DNC people. It was the DNC. Right. Um, I would say, like, especially in the recent news where it came out that the FBI is like explicitly leftist. Right. The leftists like to grow the size of yep. power government. So yep. of course, naturally, they would like to and support the And then we could talk about Mueller. I mean, involved with the uranium deal, $147 million, the Clinton Foundation. That's I mean, right. That's right. I mean, right. the Clinton Foundation, it's total slush fund. It is. They, they stole, they raised $2 billion for Haitian relief, gave 1%, tried to steal the gold mine, and then Mueller was involved. Supposedly, he gave the uranium to the uh, Russian ambassador basically ha sh shaking hands and saying, look, do the deal. I got this deal is covered. Clinton Foundation, 147 million. Podesta, 45 million. How's that out Russian um, collusion? That, that's, that, there's your <laughs> Russian collusion, folks. Hillary Clinton and the Clinton Foundation and Robert Mueller and, and James Comey. I mean, they were all involved. Right. I mean, they're like a, a mafia group of evil. Right. What do you think about the idea? So of I want, so I want Trump to, I mean, do, take his uh, presidential powers, fire, fire uh, Sessions, fire Rosenstein, get an AG in there that will fire Mueller. It's simple. I mean, the media hates Trump. It's not going to change. Right. If he would, so if he would uh, find the cure for cancer, they they would still hate him. If he does peace with North Korea, they still hate him. <laughs> they they don't care. Whatever he does. You know, he, he, I mean, he, he, he's uh, an evil white man. I mean, you know, he's like Hitler, Hitler, you know, reincarnated. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's funny though, but it's the left that acts like uh, Hitler's uh, brown shirts, right? A kid wearing a MAGA's hat, right? I'm not a Trump supporter myself, but, you know, going out there and, and hitting a kid, throwing, uh, you know, water in his face, assaulting him. Well, I mean, Antifa. Antifa, for example, they, of brown they have, shirts. they have poop. P bombs. Yeah. Where they poop, put poo poo and, and urine with pepper spray and that's a weapon that they throw at people? Yeah. They're very I much mean, like Antifa, the people they, they, they're to paint to be against. They're yeah. totally I mean, they're they're totally non freedom of right. speech. They don't want any freedom. Nobody. Basically they're a bunch of communists. They are. I mean they, they ought are to, they, they are. ought to move to uh, Venezuela, see how like North Korea. Go to North Korea. You know? <laughs> go to China. <laughs> You know, and, and work in an Apple factory. Right. You know, you love your iPhone. Hey, go work for it for uh, maybe a dollar a day. I mean. Venezuela especially. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, what do you think about the uh, some of the thoughts out there that maybe it's time to abolish the Supreme Court? Do we really need, like, nine judges out there conveying, like, everyone's 
arbitrations, and I mean, it's supposed to be uh, always supposed to have been just a federal jurisdiction, right? Lower courts, but now it's to a state's jurisdiction, right? Uh, where it's gone beyond its constitutional uh, restrictions. Yeah. Especially, especially the California court, right? You know, I mean, I mean, they're they're totally what? What's the di well? Anyway, the bakery, the good, bakery, he won move, with the, yeah. the Supreme Court finally kicked in on that situation, right. so. Gorsuch was, I mean, used to overturn that. Right. I mean, do you think that uh, you know, the I leftists mean, would have been angry if you told a Muslim baker to make a cake with Muhammad's face on it, right? There would be no outrage against that. It's only against Christians that they kind of seem to kind of focus all of their outrage and anger towards, you know? They view sometimes Muslim as a minority religion worldwide. It's like 1.5 billion, right? So it's not, uh, it's hypocritical when you ask him about these sort of questions. Like, it's, it's wrong for, a, for a, and, and the Christian baker didn't say that they wouldn't make him a cake. They said they would. There's just a specific kind that they wouldn't make it. And my solution to securing the border, I heard a military guy on Alex Jones' program. I'm a listener of Alex Jones. If you want the truth, fo folks, check out Alex Jones on YouTube. The real, the real deal, Alex Jones. He, I mean, you'll get addicted like I am. But, I mean, this guy said, he said, look, you could throw up a two, two, pre, two fences. You can throw that up in like a month or something. You don't have to, a wall's not really feasible. But two prison fences, you know, and then in between is the, is the Trump trap. I call it the Trump mouse trap, where you got all the surveillance you know, all the security ICE officers in that middle area where they can capture the people and just, I mean, just, in, I mean, like Trump said, why do we have to even delegate that through court? Right. I mean, just put them out. And I mean, my solution for the illegals, we got to pay the adults. Give them a thousand dollars, seriously. Make their nations great. Make their nations great. We got to deport them, but give them money. Give the adults a thousand dollars, you know. You want to pay off, pay yeah, them off. I want to pay them off because guess what? They're okay. getting, they're they're jumping on welfare. No, they are. Fifty percent of them are no, on welfare. No, no, seventy percent. Seventy percent. Well, yep. USA just put out that over fifty percent. Like, yeah, it's it like is a 70 lot percent. And guess how many folks? How many they're in prison? Thirty percent of the prisons are illegals. A lot of the 50% I mean, of the crimes, the federal crimes, are committed against the Mexican border. That's very true. And you look at the situation in Europe, where you had uh, like uh, Muslim immigrants, right, seeking asylum, going out there. You had over a thousand uh, sexual assault cases in Berlin over New Year's, right? Yeah, there's a lot of culture class. There's a lot of problems with that. Um, so I would say, but but your thousand dollars, though, you know, would you take that out of your own pocket, or would you point a gun with me and take it out of me through taxation? I mean, I'm just look. Yeah, they're they're on welfare. They're, they're costing us. I mean, you know, I know you want no government, yeah. but let's keep it real. It's not, it's not going to happen. So let's work with what we're, you know, but let's reduce how many, how, how much money is each illegal costing when they jump on welfare? That thousands and th I mean, maybe yeah. what, 20,000? You know, uh, I mean, just in like one year, then you start adding it up. I mean, they're in prison. How much does that cost? They you do know, come so, here overwhelmingly over this 80% so I, I vote think, for a larger government. So I think a thousand bucks, you know, for the adults, that would that would be a cost savings to America. You know, the you Romans... Know, and, the, and like maybe a hundred bucks per child. The Romans I mean, tried paying them off, paying help. off barbarians, but eventually they came in and took over the, the rest of the country. Right. Okay, right? that's you know? what happened. Right. So like uh, the barbarians like didn't assimilate to the culture here and eventually they had to devalue their money to continue paying them off. And eventually when no money came to them, right, they took over. Right. They conquered the rest of Rome. Uh, you know, so welfare is that's another interesting way of welfare because what was stopped them from trying to get over here to get more money to be sent back over. Right. I mean, well, yeah. a, a, sec a, a secured border. Yeah. And then we uh, we got to change the laws. What's your name? Cal. Cal. I mean. Yeah. I mean, they literally, they get a green card, a work permit, and then they're allowed, according what to... About, what about... They're allowed to jump on welfare. What about the people in welfare here that stay on there for pretty much all their lives? I say send them over the border, too, then. All right. Cal, po politicians Cal, typically Cal, are on welfare. Cal, you're tougher than me. I mean. <laughs> politicians typically are, technically are on welfare. They're not in the capital district, private district. They don't produce profit or capital. They live and sustain off of my money that's stolen through me. Right. right? Their lifestyle has been obviously through my money and your money, through the productive class, right? So why don't we also send politicians also across the border? 
I could come to a good agreement Cal, there with Cal, that. Cal, you're tough. You're tough. <laughs> I'm running for Congress. I'm not as tough as you. And then if I win, then you're going to send me over the border <laughs> like Johnny. You shouldn't have won, my friend. <laughs> you were a freedom fighter before. <laughs> well, thank you so much for the conversations, man. Nice, I really nice appreciate it. Nice to meet it. you, Cal. You too, man. Yep. And, uh, hey, give, give me a like on Facebook, you know. You, I'll send you the video. Yeah, we'll talk. You got some uh, good ideas. Yeah. You, you know, you're a big patriot. I can see that. <laughs> so, patriot of liberty and property rights. Well, thank you so much, and yep, yep. Uh, enjoy the rest of your evening out here. Thanks. You too, man. <laughs>